Okay, hey guys, what's up? Evil Zombie here. So, uh, and forgive my big bright nose and bright head. I have zits coming in here and I have no hair, and I have no hair here. So I'm going to be talking to you about uh, a joystick I got, an arcade joystick I got from China on AliExpress. It's like the cheapest you can get. It's actually cheaper than the last one I got. This is like $8 maybe when I got it on there. Um, the price might fluctuate. It'll probably be like 12 or 13 or something sometimes, but I'll give you the link anyways in the description below. And if I can find the equivalent on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. But I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. I did an entire review and I'm redoing it because I fixed it, what I thought was wrong. Well, basically, I had a lot of complaints and I, it, I was not recommending it. it. It was definitely not a good thing before. And then I opened the whole thing up and I took this off, which was the, like a cap for the, it's like a protector cap for the micro switches underneath, but it has this circle inside that limits the movement of the joystick so it can't go far enough into the switches. So all the buttons can't activate. That's why I couldn't do my diagonals before. But now I can. I can do my diagonals and it's not driving me crazy anymore because I just, I just took this out and it, it was, it's like a $10 joystick. I don't care if, if it affects longevity that much because I'll probably just get another one at some point. You know, I can always pop another one in because of the design of this. And it wasn't that hard to take it apart. I just took out four screws, popped it off. Is a control board right here. It's like a big control. These aren't normal arcade buttons, but it's basically a normal arcade switch that you would see. So the buttons are on a control panel, and those are on a control panel, and those are um, all very flat against the board by themselves. Or, sorry, all on a big board, so there's six buttons on the board, and that leads into the input up here. And that's what the inside looks like for those. So they're not standard arcade buttons where you wire them each individually. It's on the board. Um, it's, a, it's a game controller on the PCB. Okay, but the joystick is a standard one, and I like that. And the reason I like the stuff on here is the buttons feel actually feel good. They're nice and heavy. They have that, they're noisy and they feel like arcade buttons. They feel great. They have nice travel and they're sturdy and they're durable. The whole thing is very light and does feel cheap. <laughs> it does, but so it doesn't move around. They give you these stickies. So, okay, that's the thing. And if you want, you can take the panel off and always put it on something. You know, this whole back piece is just hollow all the way up to like there so you could always just mount this to something if you really wanted to if you have if you want a project this is perfect if you just want something that works right out of the box it's probably not going to be for you because once i opened the whole thing up my first problem was that the joystick wasn't doing my diagonals i had to really jam it in there to try and get diagonals it was like bah bah but no yeah no um, once I opened it up and removed the cap and then put the screws back on to lock the to lock the micro switches back in place securely, then it worked perfectly. It worked fine, and yeah, no, I'm okay with this with any repercussions that happen because it works well now. I can hit all of the combos, I can hit all the directions, and I'm going to show you that now in like a Galaga style game, uh, Raiden Five. I have it on here, so I'll just show you that. I can. Yep, there's this, hold on. Okay, so here's Raiden 5 loading into it. There we go. And it all just kind of works. I mean, I enjoy how well it works. Wah ha ha ha! Ooh, whoa. This is a boss battle, so I'll probably die anyways. It's not the fault of the joystick, but now I can do all my diagonals. Boom, baby. Yes, yes it is. But no, I hit I can hit all my directions and the joystick just feels legitimately good now. What the heck is happening? There we go. Oh my. Ah Okay. Well we did it, my friends. There. <laughs> Let me go out of that. My keyboard's over there. There. Okay, my keyboard's over there. My hide the window capture. Boom. Okay, so now you're back over here. I, I love OBS. 
and it has the light and everything to tell you when it's actually active. Basically, it maps like an Xbox controller, and it just automatically works. So I like this a lot because of that. It just kind of works on everything just as a controller automatically. Like The only thing that doesn't accept its input pretty much... Well, I haven't messed around that much. I gave up after a couple seconds. Was like a Capcom arcade collection kind of thing on Steam. But I'll mess with that later. I want to see if it works in my pinball games next. I like pinball games. It doesn't have any extra buttons over here, but I bet it would be easy enough to modify things like this. I like projects. You know, I'm actually going to make an arcade cabinet soon, and I will be recording that. I have the buttons on the way. So I'm doing another build. <laughs> We're going to have some fun with that. But the way it sounds, it's nice and clicky. And then these. I don't know. For, for my $10, it's not bad. If you pay anything more for anything else, it'll be better. But for what I paid for it, not bad. I mean, other than I, it was basically trash until I opened it up and took that out. And those screws, holy crap on a crumpet Batman. They were over-tightened as shit. They were, oh, ah, they were really over-tightened. I got a screwdriver and that, I had, that with a nice rubber grip and I could grab it. And it had to be a very slender, long screwdriver because those screws are like that far in. They're tiny, so nothing I had was small enough. It was a little frustrating, but I got it. I found one that was like the perfect size, and it was somehow the default TV screwdriver that comes with like every single monitor you ever get. But hey, it, I found a use for it, finally. I found a use for that screwdriver. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, if you see any other interesting controllers you might think are fun or on tryout, just let me know. Maybe I can order them from China, and we'll just have a good time with it. Um, paid for this with my own money, no affiliate stuff, I not, I didn't, wasn't sent this by anybody, I bought it because I wanted to play Street Fighter and Galaga style games. <laughs> That's basically my entire purpose for trying to get into these things. I, I like Street Fighter. You know, I like my, um, my old style fighter games. <laughs> oh, I want to try this in Street Fighter V and in Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, it's going to be so good because I can't stand a little controller for it. I need a big controller. <laughs> So I'll see you guys later. Um, I'll include links in the description below, so go check all that out. And if I if I do see it on Amazon, I'll put an affiliate link there because Amazon will probably arrive faster and be easier to do returns and stuff, but it will be more expensive. That's just what comes with Amazon. But the AliExpress page will be much cheaper and will take like three weeks to arrive. You know, that's just par for the course. Oh, and the cable's also mm, about 10 feet long. About 10 foot long cable, so maybe 9 foot. They'll, they'd probably mark it as 3 meters because it's coming from China. They don't use the imperial system. So they use the metric. So I, I guess it's what, 3 meters, so about 9 feet, a little more than that. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. I would recommend this to people who don't care about, or don't mind just throwing a little bit of money for uh, just a nifty little controller that if they modify it a little bit by taking that out, it'll work fine. That's the main part of your project. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.